Hey everybody, I hope you're doing okay. I'm sorry this video is so delayed. It's just been a crazy week getting everything together. So this is going to be really short and just kind of a things to think about as we start reading Annihilation. Okay, so we're reading Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. It's our last novel this semester. So I want to talk a little bit about why I chose this novel for you guys to read. It's completely different from anything else we've read this semester. It's more about what ifs than about processing real events. It contains elements of science fiction and of horror, and it's a complete departure from reality. I know some of the books we have read have been not total realism, but I think this is going to be much more in that genre of sci-fi where things are just not operating as they would in the normal world. And I think reading something like that gives us a new perspective on literature that is about the South, that is about, about the environment. This gives us a kind of totally different viewpoint on those topics. Here's a little bit of background. The book itself was published in 2014. It is part of a trilogy. We're only reading the first book, but there are two more books after the first one. Maybe you'll be inspired to read them on your own over the summer. Vandermeer says he was inspired to write this um, by a hike that he often does through St. Martin's Wildlife Refuge in Florida. Florida flora and fauna figures heavily into the novel, and Vandermeer has published other books, short stories, and literary criticism. So he is widely published, but this is kind of what has made him famous. He primarily writes speculative fiction, science fiction, and other styles. Those are some that are sometimes called new weird. It's not something that I feel very strongly about as something you need to know about the genre, but this kind of fiction that is very weird and maybe a departure from what we think of in science fiction. So here are some things I want you, I want you to think about while we read this novel. Is this Southern literature? The author is from Florida. It takes place in a Florida-esque region. But is it Southern in the way that the other books we have read are Southern? What is Area X and what might it represent? How are the characters vulnerable? Are they vulnerable? What else might be considered vulnerable in this novel? Those are just guiding questions to think about while you're reading it. This image is the interior of an abandoned lighthouse at that wildlife refuge which is inspiration for the mysterious lighthouse in Area X. The source of this picture is the Atlantic. So one other thing I want you to think about is what questions is the novel asking us as readers? This is a world unlike one we've seen before, but can it teach us anything about our own world? How might the genre affect how the story is told? Are there lessons to be learned? This goes into that kind of broader idea of connecting to the world at large that that we should do with books that we read. Okay, that was very short. I am going to have something a little bit more detailed for you next week. I'm looking forward to reading your papers. Check out the discussion forum and the quiz that I've posted on Google Classroom. They will be due on Friday. And just pay attention to any announcements that I post. I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope to hear from you. See you later.